I want to show you my floaters. Now, don't get worried. It's not them sort of floaters. I'm in the kitchen, not the toilet. These are floaters. Many years ago, I used to be a silver service waitress at a very posh restaurant in Norfolk. And I was very impressed when bowls of soup and stew were brought out with these things on top. Very posh. If only I knew then what I know now. So I got a, a reduced price French stick. Uh, and I got it yesterday. Of course, by this morning, I could have used it as a truncheon. Uh, if I'd have hit somebody on the head with it, I'd have given them concussion. It was so hard. So I don't waste anything, as you know. So I made floaters. These are just plain cheesy floaters. Twice baked. So you cut them all into, cut your French stick into about inch bits. You stick them in the oven, I don't know, 10 minutes on a, on a grid so they toast underneath as well. Um, you let them cool down and you grate some cheese. Do not buy grated cheese, ready grated, it's a waste of money. And uh, that they're just plain cheese floaters. These ones from my favourite shop, Aldi. I bought some chipotle, some ground chipotle. I've refilled that since because I like chipotle. And these floaters, got to be careful because it's hot, um, I sprinkled some chipotle on first. Again, these are twice baked to make them extra hard. Now, how simple was that? Out of a, a stale French stick, I've got all those floaters. And uh, so, I mean, if you've got, it doesn't matter if you've got company, but if you want to impress somebody, don't go out and buy a, a fresh French stick. You know, fresh French sticks are for eating. Um, if you've got anything that's stale, if you have bread that's gone stale, which, to, to be honest, most modern packet bread, it doesn't go stale. Um, it'll go mouldy before it goes stale. If you if you're like me and you make two bits of toast in the morning and you get doing something else and you come back and they're cold, see I can't eat cold toast, no way. So cut it into fours or even smaller if you want, and uh, sprinkle some of this, put it in the oven, and you've got floaters. But I make them out of French stick because that's how they were made. Um, in this very posh restaurant that I used to work in. I've never eaten so well in all my life because, of course, you know, if, if uh, people left stuff on the plate, we were gobbling it as we went down the stairs. I wasn't proud. Um, but, yeah, so I've got chipotle and cheesy floaters and I've got plain cheesy floaters. Now, just imagine, you know, it's like winter's time and you've got, you know, you come home with a uh, with a mate, you've been out shopping, you come home with a mate, you see, fancy a bowl of soup, yes I do. Tomato soup, all right, I've only got cheap and cheerful, cheerful, cheapo, cheap and cheerful, cheapo, supermarket, tomato soup, that's all you've got, a tin of that in, that's all you've got in the house, tin of that. So you do your heat up your soup. Can you imagine how posh it would be when you serve it with a floater on the top? And of course that does soak up. That, that gets nice and nice, lovely, soupy, soupy. So I do all my own soups and stews, obviously. Um, but, you know, these floaters I shall be putting in a bag in a freezer. Now, I don't buy bags either. So let me just get one out. There we go, that was, uh, that's an old bread bag. I must have bought some reduced bread at some stage. Some, something reduced. But all these floaters, once they're cool, will be put into that bag loose and put in a freezer. That's something else I've said often. Um, I mean, if you've watched any of my other videos, I've got some cooking videos somewhere on, on YouTube telling you how to make things like... Uh, meatballs and uh, burgers out of you know just 
if you can buy if you, if some if you see things reduced like especially mints and it doesn't have to be beef mints it can be pork mints even but if you see anything reduced grab it because uh, food is expensive so don't waste any of it and get cooking basically but these floaters literally cut up your french stick put it in the oven 10 minutes on a just on a rack so they go toast both sides a little bit of grated cheese put it back in uh, and you've got something that's a bit special and you're not wasting anything don't i mean i don't i can't understand when i he hear the headlines that you know so many thousand tons of of good edible food are wasted in the uk every year i'm just gobsmacked i am absolutely gobsmacked if i buy too much of something which i you know i don't very often do but if I, you know, if I buy too much of something, like, like cinnamon and raisin bagels, let's have a look. So I've got some cinnamon and raisin bagels. I'm very partial to these. I like these. Um, these were, oh, here we go. Look, it was a whoops. This is a nice one. It was a whoops, 30p. There were five bagels. Five bagels for 30p. They do last for a long time, so I've got them sitting on the side. But if they go a bit stale... Um, then I should do something with them as well. Don't quite know what I would do, but they wouldn't be wasted. They certainly wouldn't be thrown out. That's for sure. Um, but certainly stale bread. Why do people throw out stale bread? And these French sticks, they do. They go stale. You know, even if you go to the supermarket at the end of the day, um, any French sticks that they've got there, quite frankly, they're not worth full price because they're like they're like flipping truncheons. They're so solid. But these ones. Wish you could smell these. Chipotle. I love chipotle. So sprinkle chipotle and then a bit of cheese. And then um, I'm not a great fan of tomato soup, I must admit. But I've got some tins of tomato soup. And uh, when the weather's all nasty outside, I shall heat myself up some soup and put a floater on. So there you go. Those are my floaters. I don't know what you lot were thinking. Anyway, that's another cooking tip.